Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about you will never be able to trust them, but you always can trust yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can always trust yourself. Even when you're not making the healthiest decisions, you know what I'm saying, and you make some left turns in between there, you know on a higher percentage of scale that you can always trust yourself. You know, that's how you've been able to grow, ascend, to keep moving forward, to keep taking steps, you know, to keep guiding, to keep leading, to being able to keep doing all these things. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people don't even comprehend what trust is, you know. So, for most, they think of spouse, partners, and somebody's cheating, you know. It's only cheating if you're playing the game. And that's what I always tell people in my life. So. Uh, I've never been cheated on because I never played a game. People have stepped out and did their own thing because they wanted to, but i never been cheated on because I never played a fucking game. <laughs> it all depends on the word spells that you have in here, in here. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I know that I have always been able to do is trust myself. Even when I was putting myself in the most awkwardest positions, you know? When you step into positions, it's constantly choices of decisions being made. So let's say you step into an awkward position. Ten times out of ten, it's going to still be more decisions that has to be made while you're in that awkward, weird space. You know what I'm saying? And that's where you grow to learn to trust yourself at. Because sometimes the first step to the awkward, weird, or uncomfortable, confusing space of the unknown, sometimes it is that way because, for one, it is unknown. And for two, you have to experience and explore new territories. The same way we explore new territories out here in the physical realm, you are exploring new territories in the spiritual realm. You know what I mean? So, the trust is something that is going to come from you. I never said that, oh, like, ah, I don't trust somebody at, at the highest scale. Because my trust is on a percentage scale, so... Even when I'm dealing with beings that's close to me, let's say I got a whole witch with me now, right? Let's say I do. I wouldn't trust them. I have to trust them to a certain degree because I'm in their space, right? It doesn't matter how harmful, how hateful they are. The reality is I have to trust them to a certain degree to willingly be in their space. And even if I'm in their space by force, I can do the most uncomfortable shit to shift my situation. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always look at trust on a percentage scale. So, in my mind, I know that the opposition doesn't know loyalty. Meaning anything that's the enemy or going against the natural flow of life. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't comprehend trust or loyalty. They wouldn't even know how to whip the recipe up for trust. Because in their minds... They're always thinking and assuming that, okay, well, I know I would do it, so why wouldn't they do it? So then they always have to throw this other weird witchy shit out there that wasn't even in your space. You wasn't even thinking about getting over on that person over there. But because that's how this person operates, they have to communicate with you a certain way because they know what they are capable of doing. On a higher percentage scale, we're all capable, but it's who's taking that chance more on the percentage scale, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that they do. So for me, when it comes to the trusting process, I learn to trust myself, you know? E even if I don't trust myself 100% because I'm used to making all the decisions myself, I don't have any elders I can go and talk to, you know? The youngest beings around is like my mini, like, and I'm teaching her and she's teaching me, but still, like, I, I don't have, I wasn't one of those beings who have that space to just have people that I can socialize with, you know what I'm saying? There's more power to those who do. I'm not saying anything to put that down. I'm just speaking as far as me and my life. So as far as me and my life, it's always been risk taking. It's always been chances taking, you know what I'm saying? So I may see that, ah, that plant look like it might not be the brightest. But look, that plant not the brightest, but me and this plant could have a transactional relationship because I need shade. So now I done compensated and figure out a way to trust myself to walk over to this 
half dead plant to grab some shade even though this plant could go down when the sun go down or it could go down before the sun go down and eliminate my shit you know what i'm saying the leaves can start fucking falling off but that's the that's that's the low that's like a, a small example of putting your trust into something outside of you as well you know, trust in yourself but looking at it example wise from you know this way right here but You have to form and realize trust starts within you and it's also an ingredient space, you know? Because you're not you're not gonna have trust without honesty. It's it's not really gonna be possible. Like I can trust you with my car, but I have to have a higher percent of honesty and believe in you when you tell me that okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the store or I'm just running over here or I'm just doing this and I'm just doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the things that we have going on with them that we compound into one word, like trust, it's a combination of energy and motion. You know what I'm saying? Of different expressions. It's not just one. You don't bake a cake by just throwing flour in the goddamn pot. You have to put a couple ingredients with it. It's the same thing with this. Trust, in order for me, to trust others, I have to trust myself. In order for me to trust myself, I have to be more honest with myself. It doesn't matter if I like the way it fucking looks or not. I, some days I'm looking at myself extremely disgusted because of the shit that I allow myself to be around or the shit that I allow myself to fucking pretend to be okay with. But I'm not always in that space. You know what I'm saying? And then for me, sometimes it's just a battle because I. It's a spiritual war, but I don't always want to battle. I know I have to battle. Yes, you will have to battle, but we don't always want to have to battle. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the Catch-22 comes in now. But most of these beings and entities out here is designed to control you. They don't trust themselves, so they're not honest beings. Honesty and trust goes hand in hand. There's no way you can be a trustworthy person and be dishonest. That just doesn't make sense. There's no way you can be a, a, a trustful person and, and I just said trustful and be dishonest. There's no way you can do it the, the opposite. There's no way you can do it the opposite. You know, you're an honest person, but then you're not trustworthy. That don't make any sense. Most honest people, you trust them. Hey, hey, we're drinking tonight. I'm going to give... Dan Mike Hayes, like, I know he's not going to drink anymore for the night. I know he's going to make sure that the rest of us is good. You know what I'm saying? Trust and honesty have to go hand in hand. But most motherfuckers don't even try to comprehend that. They just like, I had somebody the other day tell me, like, uh, something about trust and, uh, uh, but they put it straight to cheating. And I'm like, you trying to tell me that you're in control of your own world, right? You want to be with somebody and build something. But your energy is focused on every fucking body else outside of them instead of your being. And instead of you doing what the fuck you supposed to be doing to make sure that shit elevates. That shit is disgusting to me. You have to step in and do your motherfucking part first before you start being concerned about everybody else simple process how could i come into somebody's life so you know what get rid of everybody on your team because i'm here i can say that and i and i believe in myself and i know i would show and prove otherwise right but to be factual and to be more honest and real about the situation i wouldn't use those words i would just show it and then gradually those other people would fall the fuck off because they're gonna be like, okay, if they're an honest person and they're genuine, they've had already put up there, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, this is an honest good man. I see he doing one, two, three, four, five. He doing six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He got 11, 12, 13 going. He's pushing for 14, 15, 16. Yes. The energy would shift. It would flow naturally the way it's supposed to flow. But that's not the case in how it's set up out here. So that's why we got so much witchy shit and witchy motherfuckers and every time I feel like I may have been hard on the motherfucker it's always another situation that shows later on down the road like like an example 
I'm in a space now, somebody has me sometimes feeling like I'm too hard on them because I'm hard on myself. But then I had those emails that reminded me that, okay, you've been guessing all of these beings and entities right. Or not guessing, you've been reading this entity, this energy right. So you don't have to fall into this witchy belief system. You already got confirmation over here from the universe that you're following your right flow, the best flow possible. Even if you are getting all the resistance in the fucking world right now. You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand the trust process and a lot of them don't have trust because a lot of them are not honest beings. And even with all the witchy shit I done done throughout my life or the learned lessons I done took and had throughout my life, I still been an honest being and I could still stand solid on all my shit. I don't care how embarrassing it is. I don't care how shameful it is. But on everything in here, up here, I'm always gonna stand on it. That's just me personally, you know? Cause that shit that I, I did or experienced that I have to live with. The people outside of me don't. That's why it pays to grow more comfortable within yourself, you know what I'm saying? Why it pays to be more honest why it pays to put yourself in to be a more trustworthy being. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't wanna run up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to me.